Hello? Just bring him in here. Thank you. Hi, my beautiful YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are new, welcome to my team. Don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. So subscribe and get comfortable. And if you're not new, if this is deja vu, see me look like this, it's because I just got done recording another video where I review the movie Spiral from the Book of Saw, which I will link in the video so y'all can go watch if y'all haven't. No particular order. You can watch this one first or that one. But in that video, basically, I reviewed the movie and did this makeup look. So now I'm about to take it all off and I thought to do a part two of it by ranking the whole Saw series since Spyro is a new addition to the Saw franchise. I thought that'd be fun. I saw um, Possessed by Horror and Caesar's World who are two of my favorite horror movie reviewers on YouTube did it. They collabed with it. They rated their favorite traps as well as they rank their the movies. So I was like I want to do that while I like get unready. So got my makeup wipes. I'm ready to take all this makeup off and get and get to bed. But I'm gonna rank the movies. Ooh, so let's get into it. So first things first, I'm gonna take off my lashes. I'm not really gonna break down what I'm doing, but I did want to just talk about my lashes because they're from Iconics Cosmetics. Let's show y'all the empty tray. Iconics Cosmetics. These are the Robin Lash. Very beautiful. Very voluminous. I actually applied them with the Iconics Cosmetics new lash glue is the brush on in the color black it's called black onyx this combination is keeping my lashes like on point i actually had to reapply them because this lash glue is so quick drying like i usually like wait like 30 seconds maybe blow a little bit and then apply it because other lash glues like if you don't wait it's gonna make a mess i did that and my lashes wouldn't stick and i was like oh my god i was telling me this lash glue is not good then i reapplied it and just basically like gave it a few seconds and then put it on so much better because it, it dries so quickly that it's best to put it on as quickly as possible and it doesn't make a mess. But that's enough of the plug for the lash glue in the lashes. I did want to just throw it in there because it's my cosmetic brand. Not that I'm biased or anything. Link is going to be in my bio or in the description where you can buy these the lashes and the glue. And I actually probably include a little discount code for my subscribers just because I love y'all. Okay, so there are nine Saw movies. So first on my ranking is going to be the ninth ranking. And that is Saw 3D. That should go without saying. If you like Saw 3D, I can't trust you. Saw 3D is just not a good movie. <laughs> Basically, the theme of Saw 3 is there's a guy named Bobby. And he is he has a support group. And he's going like on a national tour telling his story how he's survived Jigsaw. But it actually turns out that he never survived jigsaw he was never in a trap and he's basically just profiting off of the story of john kramer this movie i just didn't i don't like 3d adaptations of things especially horror movies it gets cheesy it looks stupid to me i hate when horror movies go with the 3d route and i just wasn't a huge fan of the story the the sad story was like jill tuck hiding from hoffman it's now known that hoffman is the assistant and he's trying to find jill and get to jill but they have Gibson, who is a detective, who basically snitched on Hoffman being a bad cop on the case because he's in internal affairs. It's it's not bad. I, I actually prefer the story of like Gibson trying to stop Hoffman over the actual like trap, the whole jigsaw story that Bobby Dagan's going through for pretending to be a jigsaw survivor. But yeah, that's like my least favorite. I just don't really like 3D. It just got kind of cheesy. Next on my ranking, my number eight is Saw 4. Now, I don't really know how Saw 4 ranks for a lot of people. I think Saw 4 typically ranks kind of high. I think the first like few Saws you rank pretty high, but this is not my favorite. This is the one where Detective Rig, who is from SWAT, is put in his own test where he has to learn not to try to save everyone. 
And I just, that's one I just don't really, a story I'm not really interested in. It was kind of dumb because if he would just listen and stop trying to save everyone, he could have saved everyone. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. And then the, this is where we discover Hoffman. Hoffman's my least favorite apprentice. I think he's a lot of people's favorites. Least favorite. Hate Hoffman. I hate when he would win in the end of movies. But this is when it was revealed at the end that he was Jigsaw Princess that's going through, that's, you know, taking on the case. Cause at this point, John Kramer was dead. And their side story was like, what was his name? Wahlberg brother. Eric Matthews. Detective Matthew Matthews was still alive and he had him hanging on like a melting ice cube. And basically his survival was dependent on Rig and he fucking failed because he doesn't, doesn't listen. So I didn't really like that one. And like I said, it's the intro of Hoffman, who I hate, so there's that next on my list is jigsaw and i really enjoy jigsaw I, it's it's just a little lower because all the other ones are so much better but i do like jigsaw i think jigsaw ranks low on people's ratings like lower than how i have it but i like knowing the backstory of like john kramer what happened and the twist that the twist that the main story that's getting played is an old story like it's an old trap like i, I I really like that aspect of it. Like, that was a twist I wasn't expecting. Like, I thought it was, like, a current story. And I thought Jigsaw was really alive. Because they're kind of playing off, like, how can somebody be doing this? Jigsaw's dead. You know, I had to really think, like, how can he be alive? Like, what, like, what, like what's going on? How's he doing this? And I, like, kind of, I did, like, the emergence of Logan being his other apprentice. Like, his other minion. Whatever you want to call his assistants. I mean, he's not really, like, a favorite. Like, I don't, like, love him. But he's definitely least favorite when it comes to, like, Hoffman. Amanda, Dr. Gordon, yeah. We didn't really get to see him being his apprentice more often, but I did like him in the original song. But we'll get into Dr. Gordon, maybe. Taking a picture from the thumbnail. Next on my list is Saw 5. Saw 5 is when Detective Agent Strom has figured out that Hoffman is the one who is Jigsaw's apprentice. So he's basically trying to find him and find enough evidence to show everybody that he is the one who did it. I was team Strom, so I really don't like it in the aspect of Strom basically getting got by Hoffman in the end. But I liked the game that was played with the Fatal Five, I think it was called. I liked the twist that in the end they had to work together. Cause I think it was the first time when I saw two was the first time they had to like work together. But I like the, that for them to progress through the game, they had to work together in different parts required multiple people. And they didn't realize until the end when they had to like give blood. Like I love that twist and I love the, the, the Fatal Five. Like I just, that part I really, really enjoyed. Like that's probably one I could watch over and over again just for that reason, for the game. The backstory with Agent Strong, don't really like it cause I was cheering, I told y'all I hate Hoffman. I was cheering on Strong to find Hoffman and to stop him. And Hoffman outsmarted him. And that's, I think that's why I, it's ranked a little lower because Hoffman wins in the end. I hate the movies where Hoffman wins. Next on my list is the inspiration behind this eye makeup, Spiral. I didn't even realize I ranked Spiral so high, but I did enjoy Spiral. And if you want to know why I enjoy Spiral, you have to go watch my video. Again, you can watch it later. You can pause this and watch it now. But I did enjoy Spiral. I enjoyed the direction that they went in for the Saw franchise. Very modernized, hip hop -y. It was Chris Rock, Samuel Jackson. Fun movie. That's all I'm going to say because I want y'all to watch my video. <laughs> Next up is Saw 6. What number am I even on? Number 4, Saw 6. I think Saw 6 is ranked kind of lower for other people. But I really enjoy Saw 6. Saw 6 is the one where they tackle the healthcare industry. They tackle the healthcare industry and health insurance and like the problem with that whole industry. And to take the CEO of a healthcare, like a health insurance agency and make him go through a game that's representative of his company and how they screw their clients. Like that was Jigsaw's whole point is for people to learn their lesson and learn to value life and to learn what they've done is wrong and why it's wrong. I think Saw 6 is the perfect example for that one. And it has one of my favorite traps, the carousel. Comment down below what your favorite trap is in the Saw series. And if it's the carousel, you're getting a love reaction from me because I don't know what it is about the carousel. I don't know if that's like my favorite of the whole series, but the carousel is <laughs> Backstory is like 
hop and run the game and Jill Tuck trying to do what John Kerry's last wishes were for her because he left her like a box of stuff or something. I don't even freaking know what the backstory was. I think it's the one where Hoffman survives in the end and I hate the endings where Hoffman survives in the end. JoJo's here. My little angel baby's here. I'm gonna try to wrap it up as quick as possible before you fall off the bed. Okay, for second, third and second, I have a tie between Saw 2 and Saw 3 because I really didn't know how I wanted to rank these above each other. Hi. Hi, Doody. Hi, Doo Doo. Come here, you wanna come to me? Uh oh, uh oh, Oreo. Say uh oh, Oreo. Say uh oh, Oreo. Okay, we have a, <laughs> a guest as I talk about the end of this my rankings so saw 2 is the immediate sequel to saw 1 of course and it's the one where they have they're in the hey. the house and they have to like work together to figure out the how to get out of it basically the nerve gas house was called and that's when we introduced the detective matthews they basically find jigsaw and they're trying to like uncover where detective matthew's son is he's in the nerve gas house and i did like the twist of that one it bless you it turns out that all because just i kept telling him just have to talk to me and you're gonna get your son he's in a safe place and for his son to actually <laughs> bless you be in a safe in that room that was a great twist and the nerve guest house where they has to like work together i do enjoy the traps where the group of people have to work together I actually was gonna rank it third <laughs> bless you but now as i talk about it i probably would rank a little higher amongst the tide of the two because it really is a good a good addition to the Saw series. Bless you! But I originally ranked Saw 3. I mean, I tied them together, but Saw 3 had like, was a little higher than Saw 2. Just because I enjoyed that twist. So Saw 3 and 4 took place at the same time. I didn't like that. You know, I ranked Saw 4 kind of low on my list. Bless you! I didn't like that. I didn't like how Saw 4 was piggybacking off of Saw 3. But just the fact that the person playing the game was connected to another person playing a separate game and you didn't really know it's the end. I like that part. And I didn't really see that coming. Not that I could think of, I remember seeing that coming when I actually first watched it. But I like that one for that twist. And hate Amanda, so I'm glad she got killed in the end. <laughs> and my number one choice, if it's not already hey. obvious, is the original song. Now, when I was watching Possessed by Horror hey. in CZ's World, hey. neither one of them, yeah, neither one of them ranked song number one. And I understand yeah. the other, like the sequels, definitely better quality, better traps, better storyline. But I just feel like I would be given a. Dis you don't like the original song? You're not a fan? Yeah. Yeah. But I would feel like I would be given a disservice to the Saw franchise if I didn't rank the original Saw number one because it set the tone, it set the story for all the future Saws. So why would that not be number one? And when Saw first came out, it was such a fresh new idea. Like no one was doing horror like that. Everyone was doing jump scares or murderers or slasher films. Like no one was really doing a psychological horror, if you will. And it has, of course, the best twist of all time with Jake sobbing in the room the whole time as this dead body on the floor and having to see them, like, make these decisions and think about, like, what they've done to get them there. Dr. Gordon and I've got the other guy's name. <laughs> them both being in the room and having to like, figure out why they're connected and how they were going to get out of this trap. And Dr. Gordon had to cut his foot off and actually surviving that, if you know, in Stall 7. It turns out he's another one of his apprentices. Yeah, say saw. Say saw. Saw. Yeah. <laughs> Take the ponytail off. <sighs> Was that funny? Mommy took her hair off. Mommy took her hair off. That's crazy, ain't it? The crazy mommy. Say crazy mommy. Okay, that is my ranking of all the Saw movies. I've gotten them ready, taking all my makeup off. I got my little scarf on, taking my little ponytail off. So that's about it. I have to put this little stinker to bed now. Let me film my outro. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below how you rank the Saw movies. If you are agree with any of my rankings. If you disagree, let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's I'm ready to argue. Nah, let's discuss it friendly <laughs> in the comments. So 
I love horror movies. I love the Saw franchise. I think it's one of my favorites, like, other than Final Destination, one of my favorite, like, continuous series. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching our video with my new special guest. Let me put him to bed. Until next time, stay beautiful. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Mean baby.